Hey yo, what's up everybody? My name is The Mota and in this video, I'm gonna end the age old dispute of which pet is the better one. Is it the cat or is it the dog? So let's break it down immediately cause you thought it was but it wasn't and the world two of America's most won. And before you get the blabbering about, let me tell you right now, the better pet is the cat. I'm sorry to all you dog lovers, I'm sorry to my dog back at my mom's house, I love you but the cat is the better pet. And I know that this information has just skyrocketed some people's blood pressure levels, but, but trust me, don't let that get the best of you. Just let me break it down for you. The reason why cats are infinitely better pets than dogs is, is a cat ever gonna eat you while you're sleeping? No, dogs have been proven to do that like at least five times. Is a cat ever gonna eat your child while it's asleep? No, it's not because the cat is too stuck up to be dealing with that. The cat will never feel that its ego and its position is inferior to your child's in regards to you because it doesn't care about you. Its position is so solidified in its brain that that stuff doesn't even phase it. Reason number three. Let's say, for instance, let's imagine, let's say you have a, God forbid, God forbid, drug problem. How do these two different pets behave in this situation? Let's say you want to give up drugs. You take your stash, you throw it away. What does the dog do? Goes, fetches it and brings it back. Whereas cats, and everybody knows this, have a tendency to steal their owner's drugs and to stash them in unreachable and unsuspected locations. Moving on, who's the better predator? The cat. So let's say your house gets attacked. Who's more suitable to defend you? The cat. Because everyone knows the dogs just bark and then trouble, they just fucking bitch up. Let's say you have a stressful day. You come home and who's there to give you your personal space to just unwind? The cat. And who's there to be all up in your face when you get home all stressed out? Your dog. With everything that it wants to do and whatnot. Say you accidentally, God forbid, step on your pet because you didn't see it. <coughs> the dog gets all trying traumatized thinking that you don't love him and whatnot and it may never recover where's the cat the cat's over it in like one second let's say you have a rat or a mouse or a spider or a snake break into your house what's the dog gonna do it's probably gonna go get scared and stuff like dogs usually do of course there's exceptions to the rules there's these hunter dogs and whatnot but then again, if you have a hunter dog, it shouldn't be in your apartment, it shouldn't be in your house, it should be in your enormous backyard. Otherwise, it's just gonna go get crazy and eat up half of the furniture and pillows and stuff like that. So who's the better pet in that situation? The cat. Let's say you love playing sports and you have a soccer ball in your house. Who's more probable to rip it up? The dog, because the cat can't even do that. What happens if a dog accidentally eats your chocolate? It gets a seizure and dies. What happens if a cat accidentally eats your chocolate? It just becomes a sweeter cat. Which animal is better for preventing you from becoming an egomaniac? The cat, because it's an egomaniac. And so you realize that the world doesn't revolve around you. Whereas the dog is just so clingy and whatnot. And then you start to think that you're the center of the universe. And that's why you can't have a normal relationship. That's why your colleagues at work hate you. That's why people in the bus, in the store, in the airplane. Literally, if you have a dog that most people you encounter hate you. Let's say you're drunk and want to play catch with your best friend and you can't find a ball, who's the better pet then? The cat. Because the cat is smaller so it's like, duh. Let's say you're out with your girlfriend and you get into one of them like 8 hour long arguments and you come home feeling like you want to murder somebody. What do you find when you get home if you have a cat? Nothing. Nothing out of the ordinary. What do you find home if you have a dog? You find feces and urine all over your floor mate. Now I could go on like this literally until England gets a black president but I'm gonna save you dog lovers the embarrassment that you're already feeling and just cut this video now and kindly ask you to exhibit some cat-like behavior and be the bigger man and like this video and subscribe to this channel and for all you cat lovers feel free to add some additional examples for this dispute in the comment section.
And I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another video from the Mortas Online University where we're going to be talking about self-defense. But until then, have a nice Saturday and thank you for your attention and uh, peace out.